Good morning, everyone. This is Brenda. How are you all doing today? Um, I hope you're all well. First, I want to let you know that there is a lawnmower going on outside. So if you hear anything strange, um, that would be our lawn guy. Um, so I have a project to do today, but first I want to show you um, some things that I went out of my comfort zone and did. First is I finally, after mm, maybe two, three years, opened up my jelly plate. And I did play with it, um, I think two days ago. And um, I don't have uh, many uh, large um, stencils, but what I did play with I thought was uh, fun and it got me a little bit more able to say yeah I'm going to try it again so <laughs> I just wanted to show you some of the things I came up with um, this is one that I did and this is another and this is a um, I'll show you what this is and I absolutely love how it comes out this is my favorite this is another one that I really like. And most of them will be the same. This is one I tried with one of my stencils. And this one I tried with a stencil. And then, I don't know where it went now, but then I had, um, I had this cutout thing that had the circles punched out and I used that for on top. So yeah, I, I had fun. I had fun making these. <clears throat> so I'll show you my, my favorite uh, thing to play with is this here. Oh, I found the circle thing too. So that is what I was stenciling with, and this is just a plastic uh, placemat, and I absolutely love how it comes out. So, and this is the circle punch. That I used, and that's just a piece of cardboard with all the circles punched out. So yeah, I really, and I was petrified to begin. Uh, let me tell you, I was petrified, but I did it. And I like the outcome. So if you've never tried it, I promise you, it can be fun to jump out of your comfort zone every now and again. So number two, I wanted to start a new project. And, um, this is the digitals that I will be using, and this is Artie Mays's, uh, I think it's um, Bees, Bunnies, and Dandelions. May not be in that order, but this is the gist of this digital. And I just wanted to show you the digital pages I've already, and I printed on the back. And this is going to be their... Um, smaller because I think I've told you before when I use my look at these dandelions I love it when I use my PDF they always for some reason shrink on me but loving this digital going to use it um, like it is I will cut them down look so gorgeous and um, yeah that's going to be, it's going, my uh, journal is going to be Bunny's, Bunny Botanical Journal. Because, um, yeah, I'm, I love the bunnies and I love the bees too. Um, but look at this, isn't it gorgeous? But Bunny's, Bunny's, Bunny's and Bees Botanical or maybe just Bunny Botanical. But anyway, that is my uh, Digi from Artie Mays and then this is the cover that I'm going to use look at look at the colors isn't that gorgeous 
So um, this book is, I'm not sure, it is very vintage. I'm not sure if it has a date, but I will be adding some of the pages. I don't see a date anywhere, but I know it's old. And I will be putting in some of the pages into my journal also. And I think there's some pictures in here too. So not sure, but this is going to be the cover. Love it. So for today, we are going to make, you might have seen it, might not have, but <laughs> it is what I am called, what it is called, I think, is a belly band, um, a pocketed belly band, and it fits down like so. And I have the two tags. These tags fit absolutely beautiful right in the pockets. So I stuck those in. Okay, this is how it's supposed to look. I'll show you one, the first one that I did, made a little boo-boo. And um, you stick it down as a belly band, glue the top and bottom, and then slide a pretty card right behind them. And that is what it will look like. And this one that I did You can probably see the difference. This one has a picket top, <laughs> where this one has a flat top. I like it either way. So this one, I sort of, and I'll, I'll explain to you what I did when I make them, but yeah, I love these. So let's get making. You, Like I said, you might've seen these before. I don't know why one turned out a little shorter. It would be very nice if you had some double-sided paper. I'm going to use, this is eight and a half by 11. Um, and I these were cut down to almost eight and a half by 11. So I'm just going to use these so I don't, because I don't have to bother messing with cutting it down or anything. And if I can find one without circles, would be nice, cut out. So, I just want to show you, oh great, well that don't cut very nice, does it? I'm telling you what, the things I come up with, I don't know if that's going to matter, it might. Why don't I just tear it a little shorter, but, or I might just grab another one without, see I got these circles cut out of all these. I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, that one's pretty. Now, I don't know if it's eight and a half um, with the... I think you have to tear the, that little piece off. So that's what I'll try to do. And it's nice to have, um, it would be nice to have, now I can't remember what I was going to say. Ooh, that one's pretty. All right, let's just, that's enough. I'm, I won't even make that many probably. This is Flower Garden. Um, not sure. It's Color Bach. Flower Garden designer paper, and it's probably from Amazon. So, um, let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to tear down this little line here. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the paper don't have to be um, exactly eight and a half by 11. Pretty sure about that whatever size that you want it to be as long as it will fit as a belly band in your journal. That's the main thing that we want it to do. Let's see if I can 
probably can't get this. Well, maybe I can just go over just a little bit past the line. Maybe. Right. Okay. So, how I do it, which I find it the easiest, is I take my paper, of course, the long way. I fold it first in half, like so. Then I fold it back on itself. Then I turn it and fold it back on itself again. And I know this is hard to see, but I'm going right up to the fold line. And then I just open it up and fold it back on itself again. And then you get your accordion. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to fold it back on itself. Then fold it back on itself again. I don't know. For me, it's just easier to do it this way. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself. And then you have your accordion. Okay. So for this part, this is basically your center right here. Um, what I did last, the first time I did this, I folded it in half like this. And then I took my ruler and basically cut the whole thing down. Okay, that's how I ended up with the picket top. This is how you probably, this is probably how you should do it the right way. Okay, so I take my, um, I go from the middle. Okay, this is my middle. I start my ruler at the top. Go down to the five, okay? So slant down to your five and draw a line. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Just um, start at the top and go down to the five. So you have your two lines coming down on either side and then we just cut right on that line or a little bit underneath, just a tad underneath if you want the line to totally disappear. And that's what you end up with. So then what we do is fold. I want to start on this side, I think. Do I? No. Yes. No, I don't. Because then you end up like that. So I want to start on this side. So what you want to do is fold your paper in. Fold it back. And then fold it in again. Oops, did it wrong again. Let's see, I folded it in. Oops, that's why <laughs> I got another fold here. In, back, and in. And I don't know why it ended up like this. Huh, that's weird. I've never had one end up like that, as you can see. So I don't know. I cut them both the same. 
Or maybe that is a little, okay. That is a little different. How'd that happen? Is that not weird? I don't know. So as you can see, what I did was just fold it and then trim off where it needed to be. And then it came out like it's supposed to. So if one's a little bigger than the other, just fold it in half, trim it so it's even. That's how you get rid of a boo-boo. And then fold your papers into an accordion on this side and this side. And then it comes out correct. <laughs> and then what you want to do is turn it over on the back side. And we want to... I, I'm just eyeballing it and just gluing a little uh, line of glue right across the back and then get whatever <clears throat> piece of ribbon and eyeballing it. I put it down like so. Turn it over. This one, it looks like I might just tie in a knot because it's not very long. So I will just do that. Just a loose knot. And do that. Okay. So then I take my bone folder and just squish down the sides. Okay. We will do one more just to make sure you have it. This one's pretty. Okay, so I am going to first fold it in half. Turn it towards me, fold it in half on itself. This also helps, um, I think it helps me to um, get the uh, folds straight too or try to anyway. <laughs> I mean, I can try as hard as I want and never get the fold straight. But this helps me a little. The problem is on this bright white, you can't see. So it would behoove you really to have some double-sided paper. And I always have such a hard time I think even on Amazon, I have a hard time finding double-sided paper. I don't know, maybe I would have some better luck on um, Etsy, not sure. Oops, I want that to go this way so I can see a little better. Okay. So we have our lines. This is our middle back piece. So I want to go up to here and go to five. And I don't understand why if I'm going up to here, and going to five, I really don't understand why it's different, but we'll try it again this time. I mean, it could be the cutting too. I might have, uh, you know, gone way below the line. This time I'm going right on the line to see. 
see if it will make a difference. So there. And here. And I'll check it before I fold it. They look almost the same. Nope, they still came out different. Isn't that weird? I guess the best way to do it is to do one line and then fold it and just cut. But the last time I didn't have any trouble. So yeah, draw one line, fold it in half and then copy the other line. That's one way to do it. And then, let's see, we go like, go like this, and this, and this, one side, and go this, this. It basically just falls right together for you once you um, once you get the uh, folds in like that. It just goes right together. Turn it over. Grab your glue. Do a line right across the back. And Let's see, I'm trying to get something a little longer this time. What's this one? Nope, that's short too. Well, this one ought to be long enough. Let's go with this one. I'm going to glue that right there. Turn it. it I mean I I didn't really hunt to try some to try to get some beautiful uh, lace but um, when I go to make these I will find some prettier lace in my in my stash. There we go. Okay. And then we just have our little, these are almost two and a half by almost, uh, or about four and three quarters. So these fit just right in here. So there you have it, like so. And then, let's see if that will fit okay. Yep, that's a little taller, but you know, you can always trim the bottom right off. We can do just a speckle on the bottom. There, that's better. So there's your belly band, and then you have your back side. Your back that goes like that and your uh, belly band with two tags I love them I think they're absolutely adorable now to decorate I would think that or I should say I thought that to decorate I would probably on one side want to put a 
maybe a vertical uh, word. These came from Junk Journal Studio. So I, I haven't printed them all out. Flowers would look nice. Um, memories, journey, inspired. See, that's still kind of, Okay, to print these out, what I did was change my photo size to eight and a half by 11. I didn't, they're, they're really big. Um, so I wanted them a little bit smaller. And I think I can show you how big they come out when you don't change the, um, the photo size. I think there is a difference. So that is how big they are if, see, there is a difference. If you change your, uh, I better go to this one. If you change your photo size to uh, eight and a half by 11, then they'll come out a little smaller. Now you might wanna change it even bigger than that. That's up to you. I mean, smaller, smaller, I meant. So, but I really, I don't know what other colors these come in. So, hmm. And I don't know if I have any more that are um, vertical in my stash. I don't think so. These flowers probably won't work either. Probably be too. So anyway, let's put, um, let's use a green one. What did I have picked out before? I had flowers picked out. Oh, okay. I was going to use the black one. So just to show you what it will look like with a, um, you know, decorated, I will cut these out or cut one of these out. And see if it fits. And I am going to nip the corners. And that just about fits. Now, if you wanted to, which I might consider doing, is just go to the uh, the regular part of the the label and cut the frame part off and that too will make it a little smaller for your project okay nip again And we'll see how that fits that way. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that better. So we'll put this one down. Oh, get my glue stick. Get some paper. Just got a piece of scrap paper and using my scotch create glue which again i sent for some um just be aware i sent for scotch create on amazon and i got the scotch permanent again 
So for some reason, I don't know why, they are not sending me my preferred glue stick. So, those labels go very nice on these. I probably would not put anything on the other side unless it was maybe, I don't know, some leaves or something. I mean, you could do something like that. Or maybe even a, this one smaller. Yeah, this one's even smaller. See, that's cute. I like that. And then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put that one down. I didn't know if I, no, I don't think flowers would show up. And I could put a little butterfly on there too. Just um, know that you have to have some skinny ephemera to um, put on these. I mean, I am pretty sure that uh, some of my Tim Holtz paper dolls would go absolutely beautiful on these. So I'm going to put that about right there. Like so, that's pretty. And then, tie it back. I always have problems tying my, I don't know if my hands are so big or what <laughs> there. Oops, anyway should turn this way so yeah that's pretty I like that and I will tie the bow better so on your paper I should have my other paper not that thing cute cute I would prefer like a um a thinner ribbon like this than than the thicker one i like the thin one so there you go and let's see how a timmy holtz uh person may fit a beauty one a beauty person uh, these my little ones uh. Oh, these are real tiny. Oh, she looks cute there. About right there. There's a lot of um, sit-down ones. See, these would be a little too wide. But just a single Timmy Holtz person would fit perfect on one side and then you could have whatever a flower or something on the other side Let's see how she would look on this one yep i would i would put her right there she would be cute right there and then, um, maybe a flower. Not that one, though. I'm trying to find something that's skinny.
like that. Flower on one side, Timmy Holtz person on the other. You know, I kind of like that, so I think I'll do it. <laughs> I think I'll do that. Love playing with these little paper dolls. And I got her so she's standing right on the gravel down here at the bottom. And then a flower or a word. Oops. Flower or a vertical word on the other side would be good. I think these are so fun. I'm just going to clip that little piece off right there. And there you have this one. I even made it so she wouldn't be tied over the face. So just beware of That is adorable. <clears throat> Get rid of my mess here. So there you have it. Another fun belly band to play with. I mean, to, not to play with, to um, use in your journal is what I meant. So we did this one. No, we didn't. I had this one made. We did the flower ones. We did this one, which is another tall one. So I would cut this one down to be about this size. And that, so far this one's my favorite. But there you go, that is a belly band for our journals. Simple, very good mask make, stash buster, whatever you want to call them. And um, there you have it. So I hope you guys try this. Um, and uh, see, this is, I don't know when this will air. Sometimes my videos will air, will air, uh, will uh, come on and in very little time and other times it will take overnight for my videos to upload so I never can I never dare say I just you know they come on when they come on that's what I'm trying to say so guys I hope you um give this a try have fun with them and I will see you next time stay healthy safe and blessed for the rest of the week and thank you so much for your awesome comments and um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.